Welcome to today's class. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Now, alcohols basically are compounds that have the OH group, hydroxyl group, attached to an um, aliphatic chain, an aliphatic compound. Once you have an aliphatic um, chain and you have the OH group attached to it, you say the compound you have is an alkanol, or sorry, alcohol, that's the better term, that's the broad term. Alkanols are a type of alcohol. Now look at this compound, it's popular, it's called phenol. Phenol is not an alcohol. It's not an alcohol because its OH is not attached to an aliphatic chain. Instead, its OH group is attached to the phenol is a phenol. So we have alcohols and then we have the phenols whose OH groups are attached to a phenol ring. Now having said that phenol is not an alcohol, what about a compound like this one, C, C, O, H and O, H, what we call ethane diol or ethane 1, 2 diol or ethylene glycol. This one is an alkanol, but we can't call it primary, secondary or tertiary. Why? It has more than one OH group, which means the class for today only concerns alcohols and those alcohols have only one OH group. They are the ones we can call primary, secondary or tertiary. Now here's a template. Looking at this alcohol, we see it has an OH group seated on a carbon atom. Once you see an alcohol like this and you want to know the class it belongs to, just look at the OH and the carbon bearing it. All right? Now, that carbon that bears the OH, you see that it's surrounded by four bonds, and that's normal. Carbon atoms in organic compounds usually have four bonds surrounding them. So these are one, two, three, four. Now, the OH itself takes one of the bonds. All right? So beyond that, we have how many bonds left? Three. Those three bonds in this case lead us to X y and z now the question is of x y and z how many are carbon atoms in a case where only one is a carbon atom we talk about a primary alcohol two secondary three tertiary so look at these alcohols for this one this is the carbon with the oh it has this bond that bond and this bond remember we said that bond is gone so we have these three left to monitor and looking at these three, how many lead us to carbon? Only this, all right? So this alcohol is primary. If you come to this case, this is the carbon with the OH, this bond is gone. So we have one, two, three left. How many lead us to carbon? All three of them. So this alcohol is secondary. Now in that case, look at the three bonds. How many lead us to carbon? One, two, so this alcohol is secondary. So that's how to identify primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols structurally, chemically, in terms of a test. Now, when we have an alcohol that we have already confirmed to be, one, an alcohol, and two, a monohydric alcohol, how do we find out its class? We use what we refer to as Lucas reagent, which is actually two things. Zinc chloride in concentrated HCl. Once we have that mixture, we have what we call Lucas reagent. Now, with Lucas reagent, how do the alcohol classes behave? Well, tertiary alcohols give us instant cloudiness. That is, the whole mixture turns cloud, um, cloudy instantly. What about secondary alcohols? They give us cloudiness, but the cloudiness takes a few minutes. Now, for primary alcohols, no cloudiness is observed. They do not give cloudiness with Lucas reagent. So we say, once you put Lucas reagent into a suspected alcohol, or a confirmed alcohol that is monohydric, to find out its class, instant cloudiness stands for tertiary, cloudiness after a few minutes, secondary, no cloudiness, primary. I bet you have um, learned something from this video, but I tell you the next video will be explosive. Yeah, it will have much information to give to us. So watch out for the next video.